Hello and welcome back to the Chess Channel for Beginners. My name is John and I will be providing you with a video every single day, sometimes twice a day. So click like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you are a beginner rated between $300 and $1299, I've got some videos for you. I'm going to provide you with tips. I'm going to help you uh, strengthen your game. And um, we're going to talk about different strategies and things of that nature. That now, for you, for those of you who are rated higher than that, up to fifteen hundred, um, I'm going to try to put a different opening uh, on here, and we're going to talk about the opening today. We're going to talk about the London system. Uh, the London system is an excellent opening, uh, especially for a thirteen, fourteen hundred rated player. Um, it will uh, give you a, a, an opportunity to play uh, players that are higher rated than you are, and actually, you will put up a very good fight once you learn um, the the theory behind the London system. Now, on this video today, all I want to do is I want to focus on uh, getting into the London. I don't really want to talk about a lot of the theory behind the London because um, the main thing is that because the, most of the play from white is natural. It, these are natural moves. That's what makes the London so great. Some people think it's a boring opening, but I don't think so. Um, I, I, it, the London can actually become uh, rather lively. And as uh, as time goes on, I will post those videos uh, with me playing really, you know, some other good players. And I'm using the London. I use the London system um, probably nine times out of ten as white. Um, but let's get into it. So it is it is a D4 opening. And uh, so you want to develop. The main thing we want to talk about is how to get in, into the London. So let's, let's we're not going to worry about. Uh, taking pieces or anything like that. So, all right. So the that bishop is supposed to be there. Okay. So now you're gonna play uh, e3 to protect this bishop, and uh, we're not gonna. I'm not even gonna talk about possibly because there's a lot of different ways to uh, defense against the London. But main thing I want you to see is it. Look, this is this pyramid in the middle of the board is what you want. That is what you want. Now, as far as your knights, knight, um, knight f3 is a good move. <clears throat> That's where you want that knight. And as far as the other knights, you want that knight to d2. Now, you have a choice. You can play this bishop. Uh, you can play bishop to e2, or you can play the bishop, or you can play the bishop to d3, and then play follow up with um, queen to uh, e2. It's it's up to you. The whole point is you are attacking the a7 uh, the a7 square. Now this is a basic setup for the London. I'll go ahead and, and just show you the entire setup let's see we'll just pretend that this person has no clue okay now you don't necessarily have to castle with the London but if you do castle the very first chance you have you get to move that king to b2 I don't care what's going on you need to move that king to b2 and um, and there's a reason for that because you don't want the queen to get down get behind you so that's that's I'm gonna just say that now, with this move right here, you sacrifice the knight. Okay? Your knights are not that important in this in this setup, okay? They they just they just are not. Now, looking at this position here, this is basically some of the the naturalness that I was telling you uh, that existed uh, with the London system. Your queen can move. The, the knight can't really harass your queen a whole lot. You can actually move along this this uh, this rank here. You can you can attack uh, rather simple from here. Um, you can put pressure on uh, the king side uh, by simply uh, taking pieces. It, the London system. I really like the London. Now, the London bishop is 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 a very strong is a very strong bishop and typically um, that you're not going to keep that bishop. So just know 
playing the the London Bishop back to G three is something you just need to be able to do. You don't want to what you don't want to do is put it in an awkward position to where it can't get back to G to uh to the G three square because they they are going to chase that bishop rel relentlessly because it prevents a uh, it prevents the rook from being on a very optimal square especially if you castle to the king to the queen side um, it doesn't allow the rook to stare you down because you just simply snap it off off the board uh, also people a lot of people lose their queen because they like to bring the queen out uh, this is a very optimal square for the queen to play on especially if you've castled queen side um, so the king, the queen can't come out there because of this bishop so don't get used to playing with that bishop there's been a few occasions where i've been able to but what you do want to do is retreat that bishop back to the square <clears throat> so if they do exchange bishops with you you'll take control of the h file by taking back with whatever they take you with all right so let's look at it again let's come from the beginning so it's a d4 opening you can either develop your uh you can develop your knight first or your bishop doesn't really matter but move order does matter just those two moves don't it's not a big deal and you want to make your pyramid right here and uh, from this point okay so I know that I moved it and the queen is open the whole point is just to show you how to get in this position that's that's the only point in this this whole thing and I just figured I would show you another variation to get into this I know that um, the the queen would not just stay there and I've already had that bishop there or she wouldn't move there I understand that so the main thing is for you to see the position you should be in for this okay now uh, with this particular setup once again you can either place your queen uh, on the c2 square or you can play her uh, on the uh, e2 square uh, doesn't really matter um, it just depends on how you're going to launch your attack from here you shouldn't worry about your queen at all because your next move um, because this, let's see that wouldn't be there your next move should be right there and typically what you're going to do here um, I would take but that probably wouldn't be the exchange I would just I would take the knight and then he would take and he would just protect he, I don't think he would take that um, and then you'll probably see I promise you I would move back to here uh, because the knight is about to attack the knight is going to probably uh, come right there that would be a good place uh, for the knight Okay. I figured I would throw that one tidbit of information in there uh, so you can start working on this. Uh, like I said, I will be trying to load up a video every day. I will uh, look for, if you like the London system uh, and you want to know more about it, drop me a question in the comment bar and I'll see if I can provide you with an example of that particular question uh, either in one of my games or uh, find search it on the web and see if I can uh, or I may be able to just answer it from general knowledge because I play the one quite a bit um, Hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video